Bende. Hi, Bende. Of Nigeria. This is Juliano Juliana Povoka. Povoka. Sammy, Uncle Sam, Post Office, Post Office, Post Office, Post Office, Post Office, Post Office, Love you, Ajika, Somebody have to come and take the This one has Only Tuesday. 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 Let me help you. Okay. It's rolling. Okay, we can take the names and then tomorrow. Uh, right. no, you can just give our wife. You can just give our wife. You're spoiling him. Chairman and uh, all the reverends we have here and fellow presidents, I'm using this opportunity on behalf of Imo State Government to thank the Lagos State Government have um, helped us to be here in this uh, visit. Um, I only pray that God will grant His mercy on you and uh, pray that in future, uh, instead of only two people from Imo State, by the grace of God, maybe next time we are going to be more. Amen. Amen. But when I was small and when we were at school, mm -hmm. we thought that Jericho, Jerusalem, and Nazareth were in heaven. <laughs> but um, I pray that God will help more people in Nigeria to visit this place and see things for themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, once more, mm -hmm. on behalf of myself and my partner, Mr. T. Ihama, who have been here with you people since the past 12 days. We are very happy with the way all of us have been living, eating, joking as if we are all mess, irrespective of our status, qualification and otherwise. So I thank all of you and say may God bless all of you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Your Highness, Mr. Mayors, all students. It is not my request 
to speak on behalf of the pilgrims. I think um, it was planned in this row. <laughs> As I say, a few words of thanks. Oh, no. well, the <laughs> it is not a coincidence that right from the onset in Rome, I went to the toilet <laughs> and, the post office, and the post office delayed you for a while and thus created the friendship, thus gave way to this amicable you know, living, to this friendship which we are witnessing or which I've been witnessing since we began the pilgrimage. And I think God has a hand in everything. And this is why the caucus probably touched his feet. I should, I should be the one <coughs> to say a big thank you to the organizers. Uh, on behalf of you all, pilgrims, our mothers, fathers, brothers and sisters, I must thank the group captain. Yes. For able leadership, yes, mm -hmm. which um, Lagos State is suited for. Mm -hmm. for sure. I must also thank our chairman, someone that, that I've known for quite uh, some time, and um, as you have all noted, for him to have descended to the level of some of us, mm -hmm. uh, not all of us, because I know most of you are quite high, uh, but to the level of some of us, I think it is the Christ in him that uh, we have seen. <laughs> and uh, to our reverend and so on, uh, who are officials of this, uh, uh, of this talk, I think we've done so well. May the Lord continue to replenish you. Mm -hmm. yeah, you. And uh, let me thank us all for coming because we spent some naira. <laughs> May the Lord replenish your cause. Amen. Amen. And uh, I hope next year, even if we are not here in body, we shall be here in spirit. Amen. Amen. So, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to be the Lord. Receive into your sure keeping, O Lord, ourselves and all those we love. Yeah. And teach us in life and in death. To put our trust in thee through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Free happy Praise years. The Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Free happy years to the able leadership of this group. Hip hip hip. Hip hip hip. Hip hip hip. Free happy years to mayors and uh, his office. Hip hip hip. Hip hip hip. Hip hip hip. The only pigments to Holy Land. Generally, what is your impression about uh, Jerusalem? Uh, my impression about Jerusalem is that God is very great. Uh, from what we have seen, uh, we have not uh, been uh, convinced beyond every, every reasonable doubt that uh, Jesus Christ was born in this area and all the miracles he performed, we have seen part of it and uh, uh, it's enough to convince any uh, uh, doubting Thomas that Jesus Christ came to this earth and also ascended to heaven. Uh, back home in Nigeria, do you have any uh explanation or advice to your fellow Christians? Uh, my advice to our fellow Christians is that we all Christians should endeavor to come to Jerusalem so that he can see things by himself. Uh, uh, what I've read in the Bible, what I've heard so far about Jesus Christ have been confirmed for what I've seen in Jerusalem. I advise all other Christians to come to Jerusalem to see things by themselves. Thank you. Thank you very much. Places in Holy Land. Uh, can you message one point of your impression or what point of important to you? Didn't this your holy pilgrimage? Yes. The pilgrimage was very successful, and it is the first one that uh, has taken place in my I, I, have, I have taken part in, and I am impressed by the 
general posture of the people in Jerusalem about the game. Uh, during this your pilgrimage, you visited lots in France, where you saw so many things. Mostly the sea class are being hailed at the St. Benedict's Grottoes. Do you have any general remark about this, sir? Uh, well, um, the grotto in, um, in Lourdes is specially made for the sick people, and then they took bath for healing purposes there. And it is very impressive. And that, as a matter of fact, we are able to hold it. And the Nigerian contingent was able to hold a, a service there, huh? in which we have holy communion. And it is the first in the history where, where, where a, uh, a non Catholic church is allowed to, to, to offer me, to offer to, 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 to perform any. Any any any, um, any service in that area. Uh, you visited Capernaum, where Jesus Christ was for three years performing his miracle teaching his disciples, uh, and I believe you saw where Jesus Christ fed multitudes of people. Uh, in, in the Babylonians, what is your impression or your belief about Jesus Christ? When you saw all those things yourself, uh, physically? Um, Kapadamu was mentioned in, the, um, is mentioned in the Bible. And everyone thought perhaps um, the place is not visible. But having come here, I found out that Kapadamu, at Kapadamu, we were able to see where Peter's mother was living. And then from there we got to Kana in Galilee, where the, the first miracle was made. I mean, where, where Jesus turned water into wine. Uh, sir, do you have any message to our Christian brothers and sisters back home in Nigeria, sir? Yes, I would, I would encourage all our Christian brothers in Nigeria to make an effort to come and see what is the scene in Jerusalem as a whole, and, to, and, to, and they will be impressed, and they will be able to know exactly what the Bible says and, and the spot mentioned in the Bible will be shown to them and as a result of that the Bible the Bible knowledge of our people will be will be very effective. Thank you sir. Thank you. Uh, yesterday you have completed your holy pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Yes. Being received your certificate and now uh, you can add JP to your name. Uh, precisely what is your general impression about the Holy Lands? I generally am really impressed about the Holy Land and I believe that uh, Jesus Christ was really born in this very uh, city. Uh, you have saw so many places, uh, including the grotto uh, in Lourdes. Uh, in this grotto in Lourdes, uh, we are made to believe that uh, a lot of sea class always hail at the grotto streams. Uh, I, I, you are there yourself. Yes. Uh, what is your impression about this uh, Saint Benedict? Um, Saint Benedict, uh, as we are told, that he was uh, inspired by God, and uh, God used her to make that uh, small city uh, lost, the uh, city of uh, glory. And uh, so many people from all over the world have been coming there to do uh, to perform their pilgrimage. Uh, heart of many places you visited during this year, Holy Premier, which place that impressed you most? Well, out of the lot, I think I was much impressed in the um, in Bethany, where Jesus uh, raised Lazarus from the dead after four days. I was impressed in the belief the sisters, uh, Martha and Mary, had in our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you have any message to our brothers and sisters Christians back home in Nigeria, sir? Well, uh, yes, uh, to our brothers, I, I wish they made it one of their, uh, one of their uh, achievements in life to make a visit to this uh, holy city. Thank you, sir. Uh, you have just performed a pilgrimage to Holy Land. Uh, 
uh, and first of all, congratulations that now you can have the JP to your names. And being a Christian, that's the reason why you are here in the Holy Land. And you have saw so many things by yourself. Uh, what is your general impression about Jerusalem? Well, my impression about Jerusalem is that God has done a great marvelous job to the, uh, to the people of Jews. Now, I have, I have seen everything here now. All the places are rough. And as such, out of this rock uh, uh, places, these people planted many uh, foods that we, we, we ate. And for free, we can't even finish what we have given to eat. And as such, I mean, I am very, very impressed for what God has done for these people. Uh, you have visited so many places, mostly where Jesus touched when he was alive 2,000 years ago. And you have saw a lot of miracles he has performed. Uh, out of those miracles that you saw, who, can you give uh, your expression about them? Well, see, first of all, the first thing that impressed me most is where Jesus was born hmm. at Bethlehem. According to our guide, he said that the building that was erected before Jesus was born was still there up to today. And as such, since all the, about all the wars that happened in Jerusalem, the house was not touched. This was the best, the most uh, thing that impressed me. Where Jesus was born, uh, 1989 uh, uh, now, ago, since the house is still there. Well, even it's the, apart from the miracle Jesus performed, this first one, this house, is another miracle that I can just say well. It impressed me most. Judging from what we saw here, we, are, we can see that all the Christians here are in the warm food. Uh, do you have any message for our brother and sister Christian back home in Nigeria? Well, I, my own, I wish them to come here to see what God has done to these people. You see, now, if, we, if I'm to tell them, this is what I see, this is what I saw, this is what... It will impress them, but I wish them to come here to see it themselves to know what God has done or what God did to the people of Israel. Um, but judging with the economy crush in Nigeria, I knew that many of our Christian brothers and sisters cannot afford to come here. But you as a personal who have the opportunity to come here, what can you do to enlighten them in your church, in your place of work, or everywhere you are going in Nigeria? At least to teach them the words of God. What, what impact can you put into their life? I will tell the people what I have seen here and I will pray to them that God may help them so that they themselves will come here to see what God has done here. And me, I will, I will pray. First, only prayer that can survive our uh, achievements. Now I will pray to them that God will help them so that they will do As a prayer, uh, giving a certificate, that means from now on you can have a JP to your names. And being visited the Holy Lands, what is your general impression about the Holy Places you have visited? Well, the Holy Places we visited, it has been our intention to visit it. We've been thinking it's not on this world, but since we've come, we've seen, we've spread on the Holy Ground. It is a very good impression, and we do hope that many people after us will be able to come and visit it as we've done. And the ceremony last night was very impressive. Uh, you have visited so many places where Jesus touched when he was alive. Which one of them was impressed you most? The one that impressed me most was the way of the cross, where he left his hand on the wall when he was tired. Uh, do you have any message to our brother and sister Christian back home in Nigeria? Well, uh, my message to every Christian at home and abroad is that we should all combine together in our prayers and pray for our country, Nigeria, so that we shall all live in peace and harmony. Thank you, ma. Uh, I haven't had JP to your name. Do you happy, ma?
what I'm happy about is that I have visited the homeland of my daughter and I'm very happy because it's my friend and I'm from the homeland where she came from. Uh, you have visited so many places where Jesus was when he was alive and you have saw a lot of miracles performed by him when he was in this world. Uh, what is your general impression or your general expression about where, where you visited? I'm very happy to see the house of Elizabeth where Maria went and I'm very impressed and I think that exactly is where Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, now you are now a JP. Yes, I am. Uh, and you have visited so many places yes. in the Holy Land. Uh, out of where you visited, what is your. Where is impressed you most? Uh, I was impressed very, very much when we were in Europe. But when we got to the to Jerusalem, where we are now, it was so marvelous. So more impressed than when we were in Lord. Because uh, where we thought it was uh, heaven before, maybe we can't visit it when we are still alive. We are now, we've been there, we've seen everything. It's a naked eye. So praise the Lord. Uh, now you have visited so many places and you have saw so many miracles work done by Jesus Christ. Uh, what is your general remark? My general remark uh, is that uh, it's, a, it's a holy land and I pray that when I'm going to be 50, I will visit this place. Uh, do you have any message? For our brother and sister Christian back home in Nigeria. Uh, my messages for our brothers and sisters are they should try and come and see for themselves. Although when we when we get to now we will narrate, we will tell them where we we were already visited, but it will be uh, better for them to come and see by themselves. Sport. Uh, you have led a uh, delegation to Holy Land this year, 1989. And uh, having performed this year Holy Free Games, what is your general impression about this year Holy Free Games? I think it's a big success. A big success in the sense that um, we were able to cover all the um, items programmed for us. We were able to go to the north. We visited the Sea of Galilee. We visited Nazareth. We visited um, the the old and the new cities of Jerusalem, we were also able to visit Lourdes in France, as well as we had audience with the Pope in Rome. I think generally it's a, a, a big success. And I must confess also that um, the members of the team are extremely responsible people, both men and women. They were highly disciplined, and the disciplinary standard of each person has made it possible for the team to move around very quickly and they completed the, the, the whole program. I think um, a lot of credit for the success goes to the members of the team. Uh, since you have performed this year with your team, uh, and next year, do you have any intention of improve on what happened this year? Of course, we learn year by year. The lessons we have learned this year will be put into practice for the bigger success of the pilgrimage for next year. Uh, God being with us, we will um, make sure that uh, all the um, experiences that we have gained in previous years, as well as this year, will be put into uh, practice. Do you have any message for your uh, brother Christian and sisters back home in Nigeria? Well, the, the message that we have is that um, God, in His uh, mightiness, should uh, provide for every Christian as much as possible to be able to financially support to the, to the Holy Land. Uh, it is not by anybody's making that uh, this is possible. It is only by the making of God. God is a provider, provider of life and health and provider of the means by which one could make the journey. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Sir, as leader of this year, 
1989 Lagos State Pilgrims to Holy Land. Uh, you have led your team to Holy Land that they have performed the Holy Pilgrims. They are now ready to back home. And have you seen so many things in Jerusalem? What is your general impression about this year Pilgrims? Well, my impression will register much as the impressions that I've been able to obtain from individuals and from a group of people. We have been able to cover almost all our programs. Uh, except one that we were a bit late and we were locked out. And by all means, we've done about 99% of our program. That's a very high percentage of pass. So my impression is that it has been very rewarding and very fulfilling. Uh, sir, what's your general remark about this year, Pig Image? Um, by the time I was coming, I felt with the group of people I have, with their experience and the various backgrounds they had, I felt it may be difficult to manage them. It is through this same experience and their level of background that we were able to go through with everybody operating, everybody putting much as he can to ensure that the group activities and movement has been smooth. And generally, everybody has been well behaved. But the chairman of the Pilgrims Board, Lagos State, said that this group has been the best group so far, we are afraid that the next group will be better than us as an improvement. The group behavior and the tour has been splendid. Uh, do you have any suggestion to Lagos State government concerning the pilgrimage, sir? Mostly on the Christian Pilgrims Board. Whether in the will of improvement or in other five other. Well, we have had little problem so far. Uh, some of this is not entirely the fault of the Lagos State, the Pilgrim Sport. It is just coincidental. But uh, what I would rather like an improvement upon is. Uh, The fact that a group like this is coming and the government decides to give them some backing, whether we like it or not, we sometimes meet people who have very much of help to us, like our guide, like our driver, like the agent himself, even though some of these end money for appreciation is better for the children to come with a package of gifts for this group of people so that at the end of the pilgrimage a formal presentation could be given to them. Also, in some of the hotels we've been, some of the staff have been particularly good to us. And normally there are not many hotels. We may have to have some gifts right from the day to give to them. Other than that, the arrangement has been quite splendid. Uh, by the time we sit down to put our report together, we'll be able to come with more. Uh, amendment or improvement. But these are just things that we just have done uh, at the close of the day. Sir, do you have any message for our Christian brothers back home in Nigeria, sir? Definitely, yes. 
but before I say anything about the Christian brothers, I would like to first of all say that I personally am grateful to the state government for bringing me in and I'm grateful to God for being able to go through this uh, pilgrimage with the responsibility successfully. Uh, pilgrimage goes a long way to reaffirm one's faith and Christians like their Muslim brothers we may find it good to come to a source of our religion to confirm some of the happenings and some of the places so that we may not just have a false feeling as we were given, as we were thinking before. Uh, if one reads from the Bible of Jerusalem, Nazareth, Bethlehem, Bethany, and so many other places, being far away in our home, sometimes one is inclined that it is not of this earth at all. But we know, we read, that Jesus Christ really spread through this place. And having the opportunity to come here gives us the feeling to meet the people of Jesus, to speak to them in their place, to go to some places Jesus Christ has actually done, and also to have somebody to explain to us the historical background that will very much help us to understand the Bible more. I encourage them, those who have money, to come. And uh, it will be a rewarding experience. Thank you, sir. Thank you, please. Constant and beautifulness all over the places we have gone. And we are grateful to God that you have been able to get over the minor stoppage of your.